hard to measure the distance between the presence of life and what lies forgotten before us now. How can a place that once held so many memories become lost over time? And what exactly happened to the family who once called the structure home? Built in the early 1900s, it feels as though each room holds its own well-preserved secret. Each item, each photo, gives us a glimpse into not only the minds, but of the hearts of those who called this structure home. Deep in the rural South United States, this house is surrounded on all sides by other signs of decaying life. A town deteriorating from lack of funding and care. Families struggling to maintain what they've left to call their own. A sure sign of the times we've now entered that so many are all too familiar with. And although this house seems still, there's a pulse that lingers within its walls. Culture, history, and family values are still here, even if now covered in dust. So let's step inside of this place and discover the glue that held this family together and hear the secrets this home has to tell us. What's up guys? I'm currently hiding in the bushes outside this house, about to go inside this window right here. <sighs> Let's go. All right, that wasn't too bad. Wow. Look at this place. Look at this yellow carpet. It's so 70s. These family photos just still on the mantle. Wow. This is really sad. It's a beautiful fireplace mantle. Look at this old wood. Look at all the cracks in it from all the years of it expanding and contracting with the heat. And this porcelain tile, it's gorgeous. And this clock. Oh, look at this living room. With all this green algae, that means water's coming in from above. It's never a good thing for a house. These family photos just still left behind. Wonder what happened here. This is an absolute time capsule. Look at this gaudy artwork. Black Panther, baby. More family photos. Oh, oh, yes. Yes to this guy. So I'm happy to be very quiet because the neighbor is right out here on his porch doing work and this is an open broken window so he can definitely hear me but I'm gonna keep exploring this place super incognito style in such a peculiar way it dawned on me this place is like a tomb so many beautiful memories on display so much indication of life is still here, as if the people who once lived here are going to walk through the door at any moment, hang their hat on the rack, cool off from the hot summer day in the living room, and simply exist in their home. Being here is eerie, but strangely welcoming at the same time. This place now has my full attention. I need to see more. This is absolutely incredible. 
Malcolm X. And again, an amazing fireplace. It's kind of a grayish purple hue. Really cool color. Check it out. It's an Ethiopian Jesus. Oh my God, I just started to fall through the floor right here. I'm kind of glad that happened because now I'm definitely have my guard up. It's a neat looking bulb on the chandelier. Definitely not original. Still cool and funky though. I really like a lot of the colors in this house and just the details in the woodwork. I'm a sucker for wood detail. Let's keep moving along, shall we? So I imagine this was put here in front of the window to barricade the window at one point, but uh, more than likely a looter came in and knocked that thing down. So much family photos. I think whoever lived here had a, a deep appreciation for family. It's so sad to like come into a place like this and just see all this like family photos laying around knowing that, you know, all these photos are people that they, that they loved makes you wonder why a lot of this stuff is still sitting here and the family didn't come back for it, you know? All right. This looks like a dining room. Okay, so I just got hit with like very strong scent of mold and I didn't bring my mask. Oh my God, look at this. It's a china cabinet completely full. It hasn't even been touched. This is very rare to come into an abandoned house and see things like this. Usually like this is the first to go. Things like china and plates, any glassware, any cookware. This is absolutely incredible. Oh, once again, I started to fall through the floor. It makes me wonder if I'm even gonna be able to go upstairs. bedroom. Wow. All this furniture is still left behind. This was definitely a girl's bedroom. still in the dresser. Wow. There's a watch in here. Wow. That's crazy. By the way, I'm, I'm whispering because yet again, this window is broken on the top half and the neighbors are right outside the window. So I'm trying to be as quiet as possible. Put this back where I found it. Look at this. Some kind of metal. These are school photos. This is crazy. There's such a story just in this one room. A lot of VHS tapes. Bob Marley. I would rummage throughout this closet, but I feel like it's gonna make too much noise. I feel like that neighbor right outside this window is gonna hear me. 
It's a really cool looking purple bathroom. Man, this is wild. It's like they just up and left. I never understand when I come across places like this, like how this happens. It's a perfume. Maybe they left and thought they were coming back. I'm not sure. Ooh, I like the light switch plate. I like little, little details like that. out there's even a huge pile of shoes down there some Reeboks Nikes Converse this is crazy why was it all just left behind like this so many family photos man this kitchen has definitely seen better days see all the water Water damage coming in. I have to be extremely careful where I step. Oof, I need to get out of this section of this house. I didn't bring my uh, respirator and there's so much mold, as you can see. But of course, as always, I need to check the fridge. Oh, kind of a letdown. Man, I can't get over this. I cannot get over how all this stuff is just still sitting here like this, completely untouched. Okay, I think it's about time to go upstairs. I'm not really sure how risky this is gonna be. Oof. Look at this floor. Yeah, I definitely don't think it's, I'm gonna be walking across there. Oh. But what's in that room to the left? Ah, it's so tempting. Well, we'll walk on the floor that holds up for now. Whoa. God, look at this bathroom. Man, the colors in here are so cool. Ooh, I love the pink with the uh, seafoam green. Scrubber's still hanging on the door. The toothbrush is still in the, in the toothbrush holder. Like they absolutely left everything. Imagine this, this is that green bedroom. Look at this color in this room. And the bed's still made. I don't understand what happened here. Check it out. There's the neighbor outside, walking around, working. That's how close he is to me, as I'm just like up here in this building exploring and he has no idea. Lots of space heaters up here. Imagine it got cold in the winter time in this house. A lot of these old houses are very poorly insulated. Whoa. Something just happened in that room next door. I imagine it was a, either a bird or some kind of animal. door open. It's jammed. Oh, got it. Wow.
There's no way of knowing how long it's been since anyone has laid eyes on this room. Stepping inside of a place so sacred, so quiet and untouched, ghostly with the bed still made, curtains blowing in the wind, I realized I had found treasure in the form of uncovering yet another secret this house has been hiding for many years. Oh my God. I feel like no one's been in this room for years. Oh my God. Look at this room. This door has not been open in a very long time. I can see the living room downstairs from up here. So the windows up here are knocked out. So I have to be extremely quiet while I'm up here. Also very careful where I step because I'm at high risk of falling through this floor. Oh, I love this color. It's like a pastel like purple. Man. All this furniture just left behind, just going to ruin. This bed's just fully made. I don't understand it. I don't understand what happened here. Okay, I want to try to get down the hall to the right, but I'm going to go around this way. So the floor is just falling in too bad right there. Ooh, I wonder what's behind this door real quick. Oh. Another bedroom. That's as far as the door will open. It's all this stuff. It's just, this place just keeps going and going. There's so much to it. So check it out. So this might seem obvious to some of you guys. When you are on a floor that's falling in, hug the walls like this. This is the most supported part of that floor. Check it out, here's a beam. Obviously, that's going to be the most supported part as well. And just squeeze on over into this room. Yet again, another room just full of stuff. Oh my God, and a TV. Entire a dresser. Man, I bet this TV still works too. I don't understand it. I don't understand how this happens. How homes just like, with so many people that definitely lived inside this place, I don't understand how they're all gone. I want to know the story of this place. Again, the bed is completely made. There's clothes on the bed. How does this happen? Okay, so pretty sure we've seen all of this house now. I'm about ready to wrap this one up and get out of here. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm glad I was able to get in here and document it before it's collapsed in on itself. At any rate, if you guys enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. And until next time, stay off the beaten path.